begin again. Glad you're here to join us today. Doing something a little different. I'm um, driving out to the Dallas Garden Complex uh, to basically put a new setup on the chassis. Um, if you saw my last video, you know that we ran the uh, track up in Denton at North Texas Cartways backwards and it didn't go so well. Um, so huge disappointment for me. Um, but it's one of those things where I feel like part of the problem was my driving and part of the problem was a chassis that just wasn't set up. Somehow we're missing it. And so had a long conversation with Mike Jones out of the Dallas Karting Complex. If you remember, Mike's the guy that sold me the cart. And uh, he said, hey man, just bring the cart out here. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on, which super nice of him to do that. So driving out there, really excited to see what we can learn. Not gonna be doing any you know, driving on the track or anything like that. We're just going to be in the shop, really taking our time, figuring out what's going on with this thing. So, really excited and uh, hope to share with you a little bit about what I learned uh, through that process. Um, for sure, this is uh, great proof that it's really important to support your local card shop and um, and anybody who is providing you with uh, expertise, you know, whatever whatever endeavor you're taking on, it's always good to support them because they'll be there for you when you need them. So anyway, again, thanks for joining and uh, let's see what we get here. Okay, so this is a sniper system. It's basically a laser that fires across over to the other side of the cart and there's a similar unit on the other side that fires a laser back at this and from that you can adjust your toe. So there's lots of really good uh, videos out on YouTube uh, on how to use these things um, but just real quick what I'm doing is I'm just setting the, uh, um, the bubble right here get it in the middle. Okay so this is the setup right now for the left front and that's showing about six millimeters of negative camber and about two millimeters of toe in. And this is the alignment for the right front and you can see that it's about two millimeters of negative camber and about two millimeters of toe out which means that with the other side being towed in and this side being towed out I'm looking at zero toe total which is not good and then a whole bunch more camber than what I should be running. Half of it. Perfecto. Battle alignment, right? Yep. And then to get center, just match the dots up. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. They for sure. sold out. I told you, they're the best ones there are. Total so, all I'm doing right now is I'm just going to watch what this does when I make the change. Oh, yeah. How do you capture the 27? So when you change the camber, it also changes the toe. Do you see what happened to the to the laser? Yep. So I'm gonna just show you again, yeah, just so you can. So then it went towed in. 
So that's our max right there with this pill. Okay. That went to, this is a two on the bottom. Yep. So that'll at least put us at Even. zero. Yep. Okay. Um, really, that's that's where we need to start it. Okay. Is, and just to get a good baseline neutral setting. Yep. And and then we'll do the same on the other side. To learn here. So we're just, I'm just turning it to rotate it. Now I'm going to go all the way to zero right there. Yeah. Because that's going to be where, I'm going to keep turning it. Oh, that did go a little bit more. So I'm going to go to neutral there. Yeah. And that's going to be my setting. So, uh, driving back from the Dallas Carding Complex, spent about, I don't know, three and a half, four hours with Mike Jones uh, over there. And as you know from the video, Mike did a whole bunch of, of work to the chassis, getting it straightened out. Um, we added caster to it. We uh, aligned the front end. We did a whole bunch of work to it. Um, really made some changes to the chassis that hopefully will pay dividends the next time we go out on the track, hopefully, fingers crossed. I was thinking about it though as I was driving home and I just wanted to share a couple thoughts and that is, is that, you know, whatever it is that you wind up doing, not necessarily with racing, but even in just business, you know, having a mentor is a big deal. I mean, if you think about it, you know, Tiger Woods, he's got a swing coach, right? And Tom Brady has a throwing coach and I'm lucky I've got a, a coach slash mentor and, and Mike and he's you know somebody that I can call up and say man I don't get this bouncing ideas off of him that sort of thing and so um, that is invaluable and so uh, whether you're racing or whether you're attempting to go and do something else it may be writing a book or learning how to paint or take pictures I don't know something you got to have some good coaching and um, and there are good coaches and there are good bad coaches. I'm very fortunate. I've got a great coach in Mike Jones. Guy's probably forgotten more than I've ever known. And so that's always good to have somebody there to bounce those ideas off of. And so that's really my recommendation, um, really from this video, is find yourself a good mentor. Anytime you're out trying to go and, and do something that's new, finding a mentor is well worth the time. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, Please hit the like button at the bottom here, and uh, we'll see you for our next episode.